How do you know if the emails you are sending are being read? In this video, we'll go over email analytics and explain why they are useful and some of the most important ones to look for. Rod here. Welcome to Burn to Learn. In order to know if the emails you are sending are working the way you want them to, the first step is to have a clear goal in mind. Determine what the purpose of your email campaign is. Once you know this, then you can choose what you want to measure so as to know if you are on the right track. Let's take a look at some of the most basic metrics and how they can be useful to making a better campaign. We will see open rate, click rate, bounce rate, and a 24-hour performance chart. I will use MailChimp, one of the most popular email marketing services, as an example. When you log into your MailChimp account, the first view you get is the dashboard. Here you can see a list of all the campaigns you have created or have the ability to set one up from scratch. If you look at one of the ones you have already created, one of the things you notice is that next to a campaign name, there are two numbers, opens and clicks. If you hover over the numbers, you get the option to view an in-depth report. Let's click on this and look at the default report. First number you see is how many people the email was sent out to. In this example, it was sent out to 1,155 people. If you click on the number, it takes you to the list of recipients where you can view more details. In the next area, we can look at the details of the open rate. There are three values here. The first value is the rate at which the current campaign was opened. This metric will usually be displayed as a simple count or as a percentage of the total emails sent. Say, for example, your last email campaign was set to 1,155 subscribers. An open rate of 13.9% would mean 153 unique opens were registered. You can get a detailed breakdown if you click on the number. The second value, list average, refers to the mailing list itself. If you have sent other campaigns to the same mailing list, this value shows how often the recipients on the list opened campaigns you've sent. This one is below average. The third value is industry average, which refers to the average number of opens on other campaigns sent within the insurance industry. On the other side, we see the second point, click rate. This refers to the amount of recipients that clicked on any link in the email. This can be a call to action button, a subscribe button, or even a YouTube video link. As we can see here, only one person of 153 clicked on a link within the email. This is both lower than the list average and the industry average. If we take a moment to think about these numbers, we find a little nugget of insight. Even though the number of people that opened the email was high, above industry averages, only 0.1% or exactly one person interacted with the content in the email. If industry standard is 1.4%, that means 16 people on average interacted with similar emails. There is definitely room to improve here. Perhaps by including videos or having better calls to action would help. Further down, the dashboard gives us additional details on this campaign. Here we see the third point, the number of bounced emails. This number refers to the emails that could not be delivered. Most likely, these accounts are no longer valid and could use updating. In this section, we also see two other values that might interest you. How many unsubscribes and how many total opens the campaign had. The latter value indicates that some recipients opened the email several times. Below this, we see the fourth point, a 24-hour performance graph. This graph reflects the behavior 24 hours after sending the email. A quick look shows us that most recipients opened the email within an hour of receiving it. There is a second group that opened the email the next morning between 8 and 9 a.m., probably right after arriving to work. Knowing this can help us plan the time when we send email campaigns. Knowing what you want to achieve and having the tools to measure your progress is the best way to reach your destination. Now that you know the basics of email analytics, you can begin to practice, learn, and fine-tune your email campaigns.
Before you know it, you will become an expert. This is Rod from Burn to Learn. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Want our accelerated learning program? Click this button and join the inner circle where you'll find seven tools to accelerate your learning on Burn to Learn.